Well, hearings are underway at the Quebec legislature on alleged hazing in hockey and possibly in other sports, too. The parliamentary commission was set up in the wake of revelations last week about violent hazing in junior hockey, including sexual violence. Now, witnesses today include officials from the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League and the Canadian Hockey League, which is the umbrella organization. Joining me now is Carrie Durant, a former Ajax attack coach and one of the many survivors of the Maple Leaf Garden sexual abuse scandal in the late 1970s. He joins us from Trent, Ontario. Carrie, great to have you on the program. Great. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Carrie, I, I assume that you'll be watching these hearings. Uh, what what are what are you is going through your mind and what are you going to be watching for? Well, you know, it's always interesting to see how things have progressed over time since uh, the Maple Leaf Gardens Toronto School Board thing with my older brother and I. Um, more and more just seems to be, it keeps coming out. And uh, it's unbelievable how we haven't uh, kind of nipped this in the butt yet. But I'll follow it closely to see how Hockey Canada handles it and how uh, the CHL handles it and how everybody else in minor hockey handles it. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, this has been described as a toxic culture and a culture of silence. I, I, just like you're saying, Carrie, I mean, it, has anything changed? You know, I think things have changed, and I think some people uh, have really tried to do a good job. Uh, I know Mr. McKenzie from the CHL. I think he's a, he's a great human being, um, and I know that he cares a lot about the hockey culture, and I know he's trying to do his thing. Um, and I know other people are trying to do their things, but unfortunately there just seems to be that undercurrent in hockey where people don't want to speak up because they're afraid to because of certain reasons, whether their kid's going to be um, scrutinized, they feel that he won't uh, get drafted or make the NHL. Mm. Uh, people are afraid of that, and so that's why they stay silent. So how do we break that, Carrie? I mean, you're a coach. You're trying to help you know, the next generation as well. How do we break that culture of silence and make it a safe place for, for either you know, players or their parents to be like, we need to talk about this stuff? Well, first off, I don't think that you should ever be afraid to come out and speak about it. Um, I think that we have to put things into perspective that hockey is just a sport. It's it's not life, even though everyone says it's you know our lives in Canada. Um, I think that human beings are supposed to be treated uh, fairly and honestly with a lot of clarity. And unfortunately, with uh, the word abuse, it gets thrown around a lot. And uh, to me, I think people misuse the word abuse. Uh, unless you've been a victim or a part of something that you've actually been, you know, right in the right in the, the section of abuse. It's, it's pretty hard to make a comment about it. I can certainly comment and say that what I think abuse is and what other people think is, it's a totally different thing. Hmm. What needs to change short term and long term when we're, when we're just thinking about the, the sport of hockey? I mean, it's our nation's pride and then yet we've watched the last year, you know, so many painful stories. Yes, I think short term wise, I think there needs to be more programs put in place. Uh, they do have respect in sport with Hockey Canada, but it's it's people that are taking uh, these courses on a on a computer. Half the time, they either don't have to watch them or they get somebody else to do them. Um, I think there should be more education with minor hockey teams where people go right in and speak to people. Mm -hmm. um, and long term, we should have that long term vision of making a hockey uh, a better, more inclusive place for everybody and just making sure that people are educated. Education is the key word about understanding what victims go through uh, be before and after uh, this happens to people. Hmm. Carrie Durant, uh, we'll leave it there today. Thank you for your time. I know you're on the road. Looks like you're on the road. Uh, appreciate having you on the program. Thank you so much. And for everybody that's out there, feel free uh, to ever contact me and to make sure that you speak out because this has to stop mm -hmm. uh, the abuse and bullying and not only in junior hockey but in every hockey level in Canada. Thanks so much for having me on. Thank you, Carrie. Carrie Durant.